have developed our national roadmap for space technology capacity building in the country in, in three broad categories. Firstly, we'll have a major investment we are trying to do is to resolve that national issue and to ensure that Sri Lankan agencies of interest will have adequate access to space-derived data coming from any, almost any Earth observation satellite uh, which, will, which will meet their requirement. So we have started building our national hub for receiving and re redistribution of Earth observation data. We have launched that project uh, with the acquisition of land for that, 10-acre uh, land in the outskirts of Colombo. Uh, so we'll be starting uh, the construction work next year. We have very good uh, international intergovernmental collaboration, so ISRO. National Remote Sensor Center has been helping us a great deal and uh, we are uh, further we are trying to further strengthen that collaboration. Remote Sensing Center of China has been uh, working with us so they also have provided us a uh, lot of support in capacity development, uh, training of personnel and things like that and then uh, in addition to that uh, even Thailand and also Russia uh, so uh, those countries and even JAXA uh, Japanese Space Agency, so uh, those are the first uh, few countries that come to my mind. But, uh, well, we are open for collaboration with the other countries as well. So we have just started on a nano-satellite program, so we'll be building our first nano-satellite. So the idea is to acquire basic space technology capabilities and basic cap capabilities of developing particularly remote sensing uh, nanosatellites. Now our plan is to launch the first nanosatellite by the end of 2018 or early 2019, but then that will be soon followed by the second one and third one, it will go on. <music> 